Now, the King's Theatre in Southsea attracts stars from all over the country, and indeed the world, and over the years many famous faces have trodden the boards there. Well, the Easter panto of Beauty and the Beast is certainly no exception, and I was invited to meet with one of the stars backstage, who you might say was more beast than beauty. That's fine. Yeah. So, Basil, tell us what you're doing here in Southsea. Well, it's amazing. I'm doing an Easter pantomime. Now, I know you're saying, hang on, Panto's off for Christmas. But actually, we're discovering that Panto is for any time of the year. And in fact, at Easter, if you've got a whole family, you know, with kids of different ages, what do you take them to see? You can't take that 10-year-old to go and see Peppa Pig or something like that. But here, you can bring your granddad, your granny, your nanny, your mum, your dad, your little kids and your 10-year-olds, and they can all come and see a pantomime and thoroughly enjoy themselves. This is my third year of doing this, and in fact, it's taking off. We could even have a summer pantomime. You never knew. <laughs> Excellent. And what is it about Portsmouth that you enjoy coming back to? I like the water down at Portsmouth and that lovely great big tower that you've got down the front. I can't wait to get up there. What's it called? Spinnaker Tower. Correct. You see, you know all your local places, don't you? But I'm going to go up the Spinnaker Tower a little later on, have a good look around and all those naval ships. You know, it's really quite exciting to come down here. And um, what's your secret to show this success after all these years? Uh, have a jolly good catchphrase. Mine is boom... Um, oh, I can't remember the rest of it. Remind me. Boom. Correct! <laughs> boom, boom! You see, they never forget you then. And um, what do you think it is about the humble fox that is stuck in people's hearts so long all these years? It's a fluffy tail and nice pointy ears. I find it jolly well goes down extremely well and of course everybody likes to look after wildlife, you know, and the urban foxes and the urbane foxes are getting very close to you human beings and I'm at the top of the tree because I'm the only fox that can talk. Excellent. And what is the best bit about being in show business? Uh, best bit about being in show business? Um, I get paid in jelly babies twice as much as I would get working for Sainsbury's. It's really good fun, you know. I'm Bezel Brash for that soul and... <laughs>